Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships Daily Chores. And today we're going to be playing with our first destroyers. That's going to be a one destroyer V25. So I played a couple of games. I think it's only four games altogether. And I played two on the screen uh, in the last episode. We discovered or researched Dresden. We're still not done researching everything in Dresden. So we're going to continue doing that. I'm going to show you what the situation with Dresden is. So we have 900 experience. We need 2200 in order to go to uh, Kohlberg. Uh, we did research the V25. Now, this is a different type of ship. This is a different type of ship. Uh, we're going to play with him a little bit. Uh, I am actually just worried a little bit that it has an issue with torpedoes, is it? Let's see, equipment. No, 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 no issues with torpedoes. I thought it, it, it doesn't have torpedoes initially, but it does. So we have these torpedo tubes, as you can see here, and this ship has really, really bad guns. But this is this is the nuclear weapon. This is the big one. These torpedoes, when they hit, they hit like a truck. No shell in the game can make as much damage as any of these torpedoes, even the Swedish ones. Really fast, really low hitting torpedoes. They're really, really bad, but they're really fast. Anyway, uh, this is going to be uh, the first thing we're going to do with uh, this ship we're gonna play a couple of matches now the goal is to get i'm gonna get this in next couple of games to get to containers uh, and i will put all of it in this video now as you can see here we played uh four games uh we need five games to get to this stage and another two games seven games altogether to get to containers we will cover all of this this is the exterior it's probably going to be camouflage and flags we're going to cover this and i'm going to play a random battle with this one of these destroyers it's a random random battle this is playing with other people this is the real deal so we're going to go in a battle right now uh there's not much we can do now when you start the game you don't have options of containers missions and all that stuff you have to open those sections first. I think it's a healthy way of uh, doing things. Now, if you don't have friends or somebody to explain how this works, like I had with this game, plus workers and resources and this kind of stuff, it could be a steep cur uh, learning curve. And I like that actually Wargaming implemented this. Uh, to be like this because it's going to show you what you need to do now I'm going to tell you a couple of tricks about this game for example the biggest trick is containers resources 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 don't go for super containers don't go for more flags don't go for more money nothing just resources you're going to need that coal plus you're going to get uh, quite few free experience but we're going to cover that when we get to containers first I'm going to play a game with this stock no tor uh, low torpedoes low everything it's the v25 nothing special spectacular on it we are pretty uh, uh, bare boned here we don't even have any upgrades on it we don't have better torpedoes we don't have better hull we're gonna have low hp on it uh, but we're gonna play the real deal battle real deal battle is against real people you can see on the other side these with the two dots those are those are bots but you can see here this uh, ruben ghost 25 and gergiev uh, those are real people, real people on the opposite side. On our side, uh, there is Nostradamus underscore 64 and Uliki. Those are two of us, so it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to give you the main features of this ship. This is the most important thing. 5.4 kilometers. This is your detectability range. This, for destroyers, this is the most important thing because you need to keep away enemy ships from your detectability range because you're low on health, low on HP, much lower than any other ship. As you can see, other ships there, we have 20. 9,000, 18,000 health points, 24,000, and all the way another, there, another V25 with 6,900, same as us. So we are really, really um, weak ship in this game. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try to land a couple of torpedoes, which is going to be hard. Playing destroyers is really hard. If you press X on your keyboard while aiming in general direction of any ship, you're going to get this... Uh, 
aim mark on it. This white line here shows you if you fire your torpedoes now and they keep their same direction and speed, this is where torpedoes will go and this is where the ship is gonna go. So you aim like that. You just fire those torpedoes. If that ship slows down or, or speeds up, your torpedoes will miss. They are not guided torpedoes, they are just general fire and forget torpedoes that they go until they hit the target. You can kill, you can hit uh, friendlies as well. Uh, we're not going, uh, unfortunately, I think unfortunately, we don't, we cannot kill a friendly boat. So feel free to just shoot with torpedoes as much as you can. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead, have some fun. You will not get punished. Nothing's gonna happen. So just go ahead and shoot your torpedoes. Now bear in mind that the torpedo range on ships is pretty let's call it basic especially in the low levels so five kilometer range this number five that's five kilometer range is not even like whatever you see so you you will probably have to yolo or rush enemy ships in order to make your torpedoes work use your guns stay away if you don't have a sure kill just stay away look for a sure kill and try to uh, inflict some uh, some damage surviving the battle is more important than well dying which probably is gonna happen if you rush enemy ships okay we have a warning that torpedo was close to us uh torpedoes for house i think that's what they what he said anyway we're gonna try and here we go this is our first ship really close to us it's a bot we're gonna try to fire a couple of torpedoes and see how he already started changing position so this is gonna be really bad on our side this these torpedoes probably won't hit him even though he's correcting his position these torpedoes uh, will, let's see, nope, no dice, and one hit, perfect. We have one torpedo hit, we're gonna see in the end of the battle what that actually did. Now, we, uh, one of the big, big, big benefits of destroyers is a smoke. Mo almost every single, almost every uh, destroyer has smokes. Uh, use them. Use them as much as you can. Use them as you see fit. Uh, it's quite important for you to use that smoke. You just disappear and you can continue firing at enemy ships. Now bear in mind when you fire your guns, you have a little bit bigger detectability range. On these low levels, oh, we are out of smoke. Get back, get back, get back. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't torpedo this guy to death, but we did hit him once. Okay, 10,000 damage, as you can see, we're done with our little guns and this one torpedo hit that we had. But now, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn on number 3, uh, sorry, the, uh, letter Y. You press letter Y in this case, because a letter Y is engine boost. This is going to give us 8% speed bonus, increase of our speed, uh, increase of our acceleration, all of that stuff is going to be boosted. I will try to go and YOLO this uh, Yurian ship. YOLOing me means you only live once. German low tier destroyers are pretty good at that because they have uh, torpedoes that aim almost forward. Uh, for this first ship, doesn't look like we're gonna have to uh, do a lot of YOLOing, but let's see what we can do here. We're gonna need at least we're gonna need at least uh, two torpedo, maybe even three torpedo hits on this boat. And he's directly in front of us, so this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I will try to turn our front torpedoes towards them as well. Let's see how they're gonna hit. Okay, we hit two torpedoes. We hit four torpedoes, so we... So we... Okay, this is gonna be a problem. We might get this torpedo hit. No, we avoided it. Unfortunately, both of them are pretty low on health. We should start finishing them. Let's try. This one should be gone. And we need to finish this one. 1,500 uh, health points. He smoked up, but we know his last position. So let's try to hit him. There we go. We hit him once. You can see where the shells are coming from. You can just return fire in the same direction. He's low on health. We can try to torpedo the smoke as well. Here we go. You see where the shots are coming from unfortunately we are not landing any shots i'm gonna try to go directly towards him uh, and try to scout him on proximity you want to see what that means we are going directly directly towards the enemy on proximity we should be able to spot him here we go he might get the torpedo hit as well unfortunately he saw our torpedoes and sped up Uh, we have torpedo here, and let's see if we can hit him. 
torpedo outwards and we're gonna have a full broadside good and victory Whew, that was a close one anyway let's see what we did so after the battle we got almost 100,000 uh, credits this is a lot 1875 experienced I think this is decent we had six torpedo hits altogether, two enemy ship destroyed, uh, incapacitations, that means you damaged or destroyed, damaged the ranges, we cannot destroy it. We caused three floodings with these six torpedoes. This is, this, this wasn't a bad match. This is my first match with this ship. Uh, we are first one on the list, as we can see, other, Nostradamus, he rushed, he rushed, this is a problem. Uh, on their side, Ruben goes, uh, played pretty well, because he didn't die. And the other, the other player there, Bel uh, Belarophon, uh, no, no, that's not the one, Gergiev, uh, Gergiev rushed also as well, you can see he's lost on the other side. So we played pretty well, pretty nice match, unfortunately, well, my colleagues and on the other side as well, they died. Um, right, so, oh, I didn't check the damage. Oh, here we go. We progressed to level 4, and this is what I wanted to show you as well. There we go. So we have new changes to the ship. I'm going to show you this right now. This is the exterior of the ship. Uh, this is where your uh, signals and flags are. Now you have some basic flags. When you select the flags, don't forget to do this. Enable them if you wish. This is for credits per battle. You don't need this. This is more important, XP per battle. Maybe not now, but when you get to tier 3, 4, 5 to speed through your ships, because usually if you play a good game, one of them is going to be more than enough for you to progress to the next level. I'm going to show you why. So we played a normal game here. We won. Uh, we're going to just go back to statistics of this match. I'm going to show you team score. We saw that, a detailed report. We have 35,000 damage, which is decent for, for tier 2 uh, ship. Torpedoes did 28 thousand of those 36,000 damage. So this is significant. This is this is significant damage. And this is your, well, let's call it bread and butter, these torpedoes. But you have to be skillful with them. Uh, in this ship, it's really hard. People will see you before you can even shoot torpedoes, ex unless they're rushing towards you. Then you can fire your torpedoes before they see you. So these low-level, low-range torpedoes, they are good only if, if, your sh if enemy ships are rushing you, so you can fire them without being spotted. But if you're spotted, you can still or make your torpedoes work by yoloing them now yoloing is really really fun but it's not fun when you get blown up before you can fire your torpedoes so heads up on that my preference is stay away try to uh, use your guns and smoke and, and your torpedoes as you can uh, credits and experience you can see that we have 1875 for for tier 2 ship this is going to be really really amazing if we go to equipment, uh, we can literally upgrade everything here except the next level uh, destroyer. So let's start. First, the most important thing is torpedoes. When we upgrade them, they get the range up to 6 kilometers. Perfect. So let's uh, put those torpedoes. Uh, range to 6 kilometers. That's going to be outside of our view range. Uh, we have uh, guns. Actually, this is the gunfire control system. Uh, this is going to increase by 700 meters range of our guns. This is also really cool. So let's get those. Uh, hull. Hull is the most important thing to upgrade uh, on any ship except destroyers Destroy uh, and, and carriers. Destroyers because torpedoes are the most important. Uh, or guns, depending if you are a gun boat or torpedo boat. And uh, carriers also, hull is not important, but your planes are important. We're not going to play carriers yet, but let's see what V25 uh, hull will give us. As you can see here, uh, the green thing in the brackets is how much we're going to have increase in health points. Plus, we're going to have two additional AA mounts. Uh, all together, this is going to increase our AA defense from 0 to 7. Uh, and then, oh, right, right, right. This is going to increase AA mounts by 2. That means from 0 to 2. So we're going to have some kind of AA defense. On tier 2, hardly you're going to see any aircraft carriers. But it's still, you're going to have some kind of defense. And the uh, hull is really important for your health points. You're going to have, you can take more damage. So we're going to upgrade that. And of course, the last thing, we will upgrade this. 
uh, that would be the artillery. Uh, what will this bring us? Let's see one more time. Multi maximum uh, health, uh, high explosive shell damage is plus 200 and maximum AP shell damage is plus 500. So AP shells are a little bit more powerful. But with AP shells, you have to penetrate the ship in order to inflict the damage. With high explosive shells, you don't have to penetrate it. You will not do the damage, but there's a potential of you setting this the enemy ship on fire. Uh, you can see if you go to your shells, to your high explosive shells, you can see here on the list uh, in the middle, chances of high explosive shells causing a fire on a target, 5%. That means in theory every 20th shot should set the target on fire. In practice, it can be more or less than that. It's it's a, it's a lottery. So, um, But fire, fire is really important, especially when you set a ship on fire, it can repair itself straight away, take the, put the fire out, but if you set it on fire straight away again, uh, the, that he's gonna have a perma fire that's gonna burn a lot of uh, HP of the ship. So anyway, so we upgraded the ship fully. I will go and play a couple of. Oh right, exterior first. Exterior are the flags. Flags, like I said, on this level, don't use the flags because it's gonna be waste for you later on tier three or four, or maybe when you're playing the ship for the first time, you put this extra fifty percent extra experience flag with credits per battle. Not important. Um, you're gonna have enough money. No money is not gonna be. This is more important for your special matches, cooperations, maybe clan matches and stuff like that. So keep those flags. You're gonna have a lot of them, but they're not really important on this low tier. So let's say that we need these sh these flags. When you select the flags that you wanna put on your ship, put auto supply if you want to play. Uh, if you want those flags in the future on your ship. Be careful when you press enable, it's automatically gonna be um, uh, uh, enabled to use the currency. That means the balloons in your in your garage, in your docks, that will use the balloons to restock the flags if you don't have them. So each one of these flags costs 16 doubloons, that's a lot. Don't do that, don't do that. Just untick this box, that means they're gonna use flags that you have in the storage. When it's done, it's done, it's automatic automatically gonna be removed or not restocked. Camouflage is something that you're gonna use a lot. This is definitely worth it. So uh, these camouflages here, you can see why they help you. Uh, they detectability range by C is decreased by 3%. It's not a lot, but it's look, it's still significant. The second thing is dispersion of shells fired by enemy ships attacking your ship is additional 4%. That means you are harder to hit. So these camouflages at any point are good maybe even on tier two, but I would, maybe I'm gonna wait for tier three or four until I start using them, but I will absolutely after tier four and higher, I will definitely use every single time these camouflages enable and yes, resupply using in-game currency. You can see that it costs 22,500 uh, silver uh, or credits. This is how much it's gonna cost, but if you go and check out statistics of this, Maybe a little bit better than average match it would be nine oh hundred thousand uh, doubloons. Sorry, uh, credits. So this is this is decent amount of money. So twenty two thousand deducted from this for you to have better chances of winning the match, it's worth it. So these credits are important, but uh, camouflage is more important. So uh, I would use the camouflage as much as I can. Like I said, initially for tier two, three, maybe you don't have to if you don't wish to use it, but for upper tiers four and all the way until ten, you gonna you use this camouflage. But by, by the way, don't use these doubloon camouflages because they are they cost every single match. You're gonna lose this much. That's expensive. You will have things like and these two first ones they are useless. They are like I just use the one that gives you both things at the same time. Unfortunately, these give you either dispersion or detectability, but just ignore them. And later on, I'm gonna show how to sell them as well. So these are not important. Okay, so. 18 minutes into this video, I will probably stop talking now. Uh, I will uh, play a couple of games until we get to containers and I'm going to show you how containers work and I'm going to finish for today. I will have, I'm going to release a couple of shorts, short video less than a minute long on YouTube channel. So if you want to check out uh, those, how we're progressing and all that good stuff, um, you can see it on our channel. Now subscribe, like, and all got that stuff if you didn't by now, consider anyway. So I'm going to play a couple of matches and see you in, well, for you it's gonna be a second. 
So from time to time, th the things like this gonna happen. Sorry about the old tobing here, but um, yeah, detonation. So this is what happened uh, to me in this match. So I was detonated by enemy ship. Uh, I will get, I will get some kind of detonation medal, uh, as you can see it here. Honorary achievement, the uh, critical damage, the magazine result in detonation. Um, you have flags, you will have flags that can prevent this, but it doesn't happen too often. It's really, really hard to get these. But what I was trying to do in this game, uh, I was trying to YOLO a couple of cruisers, which is <laughs> really, really stupid. They're gonna shoot high explosive shells at you, and uh, destroyers usually can take a lot of, can take um, the, the, the high explosive shells as penetration, and they're really dangerous to, for you. I did have a quite successful uh, game, well, uh, considering for tier 2, two destroyer, 40,000 damage, and it's gonna end hopefully soon. Uh, we can watch for the rest of the game. This is probably one of the first games that I actually died uh, with this account, so <laughs> it, it's, it's quite successful and I don't really don't mind. Anyway, it looks like we're gonna win this one, but uh, what I wanted to show you is, yes, you can just be erased for no reason unexpectedly just because one grenade one shell one hit your magazine and voila mm, goodbye and see you later so this is what happened to us but i'm pretty happy with uh, what happened we had destroyed two ships we had five torpedo hits we had four floodings we had quite few artillery hits you can see 38 penetrations seven overpens and six non-penetrations that would be shatters or whatever shatter grenades so they, they didn't uh, do any damage uh yeah all in all it's it was a couple of nice successful matches uh and uh, it's gonna be nice to see how it's gonna end popov and right the two ships that are left on this side we have on the other side urien and uh, gelderand those i'm not even sure what these ships are uh right so Oh, Nino uh, Bixio, this is a premium ship, I believe. No, 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 this is Italian. No, no, Italian tier 2 cruiser. Uh, Italians are mean. Italians are mean. They have uh, those uh, semi-armor piercing shells. They are really, really good against uh, lightly armored uh, ships. So it's really, really good. But uh, in this case, <laughs> looks like most of it is just bots against bots. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. I think me and one other guy on the other side, that would be this guy here, which has a really nice sounding name. It's... Um, uh, we both died. But anyway, you can see that it's 9-5. They have three ships left. Uh, Nino Bixio is down. I just wanted to show you the detonation that can happen. So be wary of that. Let's see each other when the match is over. And this battle is being put out of its misery. The last ship, uh, Gelderland. Gelderland is on the opposite side as you can see there uh, our team is smashing it we are still dead <laughs> that's not gonna change and uh, we're gonna end quite soon let's see how long it's gonna take them to destroy this ship one other thing i forgot to mention i probably forgot to mention the ships i don't think up until tier 4 they don't have a thing called citadel citadel is this important dangerous part of the ship that once it's hit it's uh, you inflict massive amounts of damage you don't explode this is detonation this is the worst thing that can happen to a ship because it doesn't matter how much health, po health points you have you're gonna lose them all i think detonation cannot happen unless you are under 70 percent of health uh, after that detonation can happen uh, while citadel is always there citadel is the maximum amount of damage your guns can inflict upon ship without detonating it it's really you're gonna see that you're gonna get a black medal or or strip oh here we go perfect there we go we got containers here and they explained that we got well containers here so containers are the most important thing in the game uh for your resources you're gonna get a lot of a lot of stuff from there now i'm gonna i'm gonna uh show you these containers that you already have that's fine they're perfectly fine you can open them you can open them all if you want but you can do it one by one to see what we're gonna get we're probably gonna get a lot of these credits and some flags you can see this flag reload time for ship consumables plus minus five percent that means faster reload 
follow the speed of your consumables, like repairs and stuff like that. Then we have some flags. There we go. Coal. Yay. The coal. The most important thing in the game. Trust you, me. It's the most important thing in the game. And we have a little small super container. We're going to get 700. Nah, nothing spectacular. Uh, I don't even know if this is a super container. But it's a small container with a... Yeah, it's some kind of... And the big one. Ah, darn it. Uh, these are good flags. Free XP, Commander XP, XP per battle. I would leave them for later. Don't use these triangular flags. I'm going to show you where you can find them. Uh, but don't usually use them. This is your this is your container section. You need 2000 experience to get a container. Now you you need you can get three containers per day. One at 2000 mark, one, if, one at 12,500 mark, and one at 37,000 mark. This is experience. This is general experience. If you put all the flags and you get 37,000 experience in one match, you're going to get all three containers at the same time. It's fine. But this is something that I suggest you do on a daily basis. Go and get those containers. Uh, we will do in this episode, I'm going to show you one container, how uh, what you can get. We're going to open it and we're going to go for resources. At the moment, you still don't have the armory option you still have to unlock uh, other stuff like free xp armory and all that stuff i'm pretty sure that they are collecting your free xp uh, coal and everything in the background you, i will play a couple of matches just to get the container and show you how um how everything looks uh, i'm probably gonna play two more matches we're gonna get three days of premium we already have six days left so three additional days and then we're gonna show you uh what uh, what we're gonna get when we get to free xp you're gonna have additional resource called free xp usually i suggest don't use it it can be used later on much much more fruitfully uh, we did research tier 3 destroyer i'm gonna be using this one we're gonna be uh, researching it and i'm gonna be purchasing it without slot that's all fine without captains we still didn't unlock captains perfect uh, this message tells you that uh, you can now that we have elite uh, ship in the, in the garage every ship that doesn't have anything more to research becomes an elite one um, tier 2 elite they're not useful they're not really useful that much and I suggest that you sell them all uh, up until tier 5 from tier 5 upwards you can start keeping them but in the beginning they're not really that useful I will be selling both Dresden and this V25 uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we already have uh, tier three ships, which I'm gonna be playing now off screen. Hermelin as well. We can we're gonna sell that one because there's nothing uh, we can do with this ship anymore. We're gonna be we're gonna keep just Kohlberg and G101. Right. Uh, let me play a couple more matches and let's see what we can do with containers. Right, here we go. Uh, when you burn a lot, you're gonna have na naval warfare, or it's, I think it's just arsonist later on called. Maybe they renamed the 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 tags, the 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 medals like uh, arsonist is when you, for the first time, destroy an enemy ship by setting her on fire. Oh, okay, so the first time only. Later on, later on, you're gonna get these arsonist medals and um, this kind of stuff when you burn or like fireproof if you're actually damaged like hugely with the with fire but anyway this should be a Right, right. For next achievement here we need to play two battles, that's fine. Uh right, so we have uh Ship commanders is going to be next step. Is going to need a couple of battles. We're probably going to do this tomorrow. Uh, right. Uh, really quickly. Every time you uh, play a ship after a, after the match, go and check out if you can upgrade something. In this case, we can upgrade everything. So we're going to upgrade the hull. Uh, you can always see what uh, it's what improvements will be. Uh, it's just hit points of our ability and maneuverability. It's probably going to be rudder upgrades as well. This is nice. Uh, and then we're gonna go for the second one that would be a one kilometer extra range I try to get a little bit closer to get more accurate shots But I usually open fire as soon as I can and the second one would be g101. We didn't we played with it. We lost a match, but um we upgraded the torpedoes because we still got some experience. As you can see here, I have uh, 575, 5750 free XP. Uh, you can buy this free XP by using the doubloons. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, we don't have any because we don't don't do that. Don't don't ever convert your XP to with doubloons. That's a waste of money. That's one of those tourist traps where you just have to you know spend money. Don't don't, don't do that. Uh, what I would suggest in this case, uh, daily thing. 
thing containers 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 this is the most important thing in this game so containers uh you choose them collect the container now bear in mind you have darn it we still don't have the resource ones we have to play a little bit more you have more credits more signals uh, camouflage and camouflages or you have your try your luck now you have a lot of topics on forum for forums what this is more credits i would say this is a waste of time signals and camouflages are nice quite nice but um, they're gonna need that later down the line in the game you're gonna get them through missions through a lot of different stuff so you're gonna get this try your luck well, why the hell not we're a gambler aren't we no i'm not but uh, still uh, try your luck increases your luck increases your chances of getting a super container you won't get a super container there are really really small chances i believe to get a super container is like three percent chance or 0.3 percent chance something like that and then try your luck is giving you 50 percent more and then like 50 percent more from 0.3 percent it's not that much so I, i'm not even sure if it's 50 percent, but it's really really low it's not worth it if you don't get a super container you're gonna get a random container from here and usually it's not worth it but let's try our luck let's try our luck if we get a super container good if we don't doesn't matter and let's see what we can do unfortunately i still this is why i'm playing from the beginning i don't know what you guys see because i went through this long time ago and probably the same procedure wasn't here uh when i when i went through it like three four years ago so uh we're gonna try our luck usually you're gonna have more resources container use that one but now we're gonna try our luck yes so let's go try our luck and we got absolutely nothing no did we oh no no this is a small super container i don't even know what it's called uh we're gonna open this i don't know no this is not lucky i don't think this is luck let's see uh we got camouflages okay uh, let's talk for a second about camouflages these are you're gonna get a lot of them you're gonna get a lot of camouflages from everywhere missions whatever you're gonna get crap lot of camouflages camouflages are cool they make your ship ship look different uh this is even decent you're gonna have like palm trees and pink camouflages this kind of stuff don't worry about it camouflages increases your xp per battle commander free xp a lot of different stuff parameters can be increased by camouflages this is an average one average one that uh, increases average of a little bit of you can, you can have special ones with like 700 percent those are rare 700 percent more experience you're gonna use them at some other time i'm gonna explain that but um, for now we're just gonna use uh well nothing we're not gonna use camouflages until we get to tier four and that's about it i hoped i can show you that you can when, when you can start getting cold but obviously that's going to be in the next one we unlocked containers so don't forget if you want to maximize your um profitability or or whatever you do do try to get these thirty-seven thousand experience per day get all three containers use the resource one when you get it before that we have fun but the resource 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 is the most important one have fun you can go for try or luck you can go for uh, um, more credits that's really useless just don't go for credits go for flags or try or luck until you get the resource containers uh we will hopefully catch those resource containers as well but for now i think that's about it statistics uh we can see our summary we can see 100 percent yay but i only played three battles in in random and a lot of stuff a lot of details you can see here anyway these are excess levels they're gonna disappear later on after you research all of them but it's gonna take a while for you to research all of them uh anything else anything else i want to cover here no read your news uh you can purchase premium here when you get news read your news uh don't purchase premium uh you i'm probably gonna we're gonna talk about this anyway that's it i'm gonna leave it here hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section here and if you want to support the channel have the description of the video have a nice saturday guys and see you in the next one bye bye